Previously on Alan Wake, I'm hunted by the law. Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. <sighs> it's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you lie. You're suffering from various Bastard. symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's so okay, Alan. Alan. Just let go. 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 <sighs> I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think, couldn't focus. The door was locked. I was a prisoner here. Okay, um, patient. Hello? Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah, I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message, loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Where's my guns? This corridor is for patients. Most of them are here a... right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip, except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, oh. of course. Oh. All 360 and the uh, Night, Night Springs video game. Plays on that thing, huh? Okay. Big fan. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Alan? Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. Ain't going that one, apparently. This Is way, that... Alan. The soul? Anything? Anderson. No one there either. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned, and you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped, and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. 
Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but so think about it. Doesn't this I make go far see more some sense of the people that have died? insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? Like, You're a skeptic like Stucky, by nature, Alan. Rusty. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. Beyond the shadow, you settle for... Uh, there's a miracle illuminated. PZ. A memory of a dear friend... A poet. That spot wasn't good. You wanna end here? I never get tired of this view. Very inspired. Apparently, my died. Uh, my, yeah, Lake my died. My wife us. died out there. I could see Mirror Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. Is this supposed to help me? It seems there's a storm coming. Yeah. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Oh boy. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. All, Hartman obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, can't I dug do my nails into myself. the palms of my hands to stay you focused. You need to work with me. Once I see that thermos up there. That, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. And there's, is there a way to slow walk? Come kinda on. Oh, Let's wait. Go yeah, inside. there we go. <laughs> kind of annoying to be faster than him. Oh, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors. Man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Can we talk about him? Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> Emerson. <laughs> I'll go get that thermos. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. I don't Mr. think I want to run into him enough, during the day. Is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Thank you. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No. Elbow strike. Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll come yeah. out to this way. way. Yeah. Go this way. <sighs> oh, hello. I've painted you. Okay. I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Yeah? He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. <laughs> it's a it's a good painting. But well, creepy. I guess I'd better start wrapping this up. The storm is almost here. Look at that. I'd hate to be out there tonight. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm going to be out there tonight. Oh, can't go there. All right, bye dude. See you later. Don't get your painting wet. Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. 
Welcome to Cauldron Lake Lodge. Uh, we're here to give you the specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure that they don't interfere with your therapy and or periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patients. Need for privacy and personal space, especially when they're engaging in their creative prospect. Or processing. Uh, well, there's more. Be patient. Uh, typically, our patients have long-term creative problems and won't be solved that won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that you're voluntarily receiving treatment and have been specifically tailored that have been specifically tailored for you. Uh, engagement therapy and its sister method, the flow, work best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please do not hesitate to voice them. Cool. And you want me to write. Because I don't think... Uh, but there's a agent. Uh, because I'm sure uh been taken. You want me to continue the manuscript. Blah, blah, blah. My rheumatism is killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers. Odin and Tor. They had a... How should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted <coughs> new first names to complete the oh, image of Viking gods. After the band <coughs> broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. And <laughs> there's oh, something that in my throat. <laughs> I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. My head. Keep, keep that thought. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him, but there was fear too. If not for his young assistant Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He too had a way with words. Hmm. Emil. It was clearing up. Or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom, got any booze on you? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> we have guys. a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula, local ingredients, medicine, clears your head right up. Makes you remember like Moonbeams on the brain. Oh, I just noticed leather patches on the elbows. That's not very rock and roll. Tom just lost is all. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. She used us all, taken from all of us. 
took my thunder, the witch. And my ravens, what was it? What were they? <laughs> Memory and thought, the hag. She took something from you too, didn't she? That's what she does. Um, we're better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator, an artist, hug gah. Light me shifted in their sleep in the darkness of the lake. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. She makes sure it comes out twisted and wrong. Oh. Just ask the lamp lady. She knows what happened to that other rider. Uh, okay, bye. I still can't go that way. I'll read that again. Door. Uh -huh. Gotcha. The doc's got me looking after Wake here, but holler if they get too rowdy. I'll do that, Birch. Hey, Wake, why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? The typewriter's in your room. You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. Okay. I guess. Something's wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. Yeah. We probably shouldn't, right? Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, wake! You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. He got a hammer. Oh, hey. Hold on. Hartman kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practiced hand on Barry's shoulder. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, Barry. Uh... Oh, afraid of the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now, are we? Okay, I guess we go down. Well, things are unraveling fast, aren't they? <laughs> it's my storm. Sinclair looked I'm bad. That it. wasn't a love tap. The crazy the old fart hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's Tom goons, she had it destiny. coming. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd been Come keeping them. Come out and face the mm. music, Birch! It's time to pay the piper! Okay, um... Can I open those doors that Maybe I couldn't could open before with this? Like, I couldn't open this one. Nope. Can't even go that way. Alright, well... Fuck me.
Well, this way. Let me out of here! Hartman, do you hear me? I'm gonna sue your crazy quack ass to shred! 